Welcome back, guys, for another Busan restaurant adventure. Today, we'll be taking a look at a small Italian restaurant in Jumpo Cafe Street called Do Ming. I met Ronan here on the weekend for some mid afternoon lunch. Ronan did his daily workout, and I was recovering from a cycling trip to Gyeongju. Both of us had already eaten, so neither of us were going into this meal on empty. Do Ming sounds like a Chinese noodle or pastry shop, but I'm 100% certain it isn't. Believe it or not, this place is actually a tiny Italian restaurant that serves either pasta dishes or risotto. We just stumbled upon this quaint shop, but it seemed very popular with the younglings. Ronan and I were happy to wait and to also lower the hipness of this place by at least 50% in the process. Do Ming is located in Jumpo Cafe Street, nestled somewhere in between Samyun Exit 2 and Jumpo Station. Coming from either station, you're looking at a brisk 10 minute stroll. The menu is quite simple at Do Ming. Your choices are either one of the many forms of pasta or risotto. There are no salads or desserts. The menu also features the most authentic traditional Italian food, French fries. Ronan and I picked two different pasta dishes to try. Ronan went with the carbonara and I ordered lasagna. We would have loved to have some greens, but Do Ming just doesn't offer any. The pasta was lonely without its insalata partner. The flavor of the carbonara was rich and creamy with a heavy taste of black pepper. Someone went a little wild with the grinder and perforated our carbonara with peppercorn buckshot. It made the pasta seem a bit unbalanced. Ronan had a different opinion. He said the pasta was too salty for his taste. I can handle my salt like a champion, but I do agree. The lasagna was delicious. It even had its own little salad on top. At least we kind of got our daily greens with this dish. The marinara sauce and cheesy parmesan flavor were a delight. The visual appeal was insta-worthy. The portion size, while visually lengthy, lacked the <clears throat> girth, so to speak. Three lasagna layers, while acceptable, just isn't enough. It might have been enough if the ricotta and mozzarella filling were generous or the marinara sauce was meatier. McDonald's, anyone? I almost forgot to mention the forgettable, sweetened garlic bread halves we received with our meal. The bread was a simple, plain dinner roll slathered with the always shocking, sugary, sweet garlic butter. While the carbonara and lasagna are flavorful, there's not much else that stands out when it comes to Do Ming. If you're looking for a new restaurant to try just for the sake of being the new kid on the block, Do Ming will satisfy your sense of adventure for a day. It's a great people watching location if you can get the window seat. The pasta is fine too. Do Ming might be able to satisfy the nibblers and tasters out there. However, if you're a couple of hungry cyclist bros like us eating a second lunch, you're going to leave this place starving, especially with this severely limited and confused menu. That's it for this week's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next food adventure. See ya.